Layton saying hi, everyone. Okay, go away. You can't see. <laughs> go away. Hi, guys. Welcome to the live. It's an exciting day in the Korea house, as always. Um, tonight's live is going to be a day without coffee is like. And then we're going to put it down here on the bottom that says, just kidding. I have no idea. This is so me. Hi, Jaretta. So a day without coffee is like, and then just kidding. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to put the little coffee cups on there, um, and we're going to decorate it. And today I have from one of the big box stores, um, a frame that I got that I can put on a shelf or on my desk, um, just for fun. And so that we can decorate that. Um, first things first, before we do anything else, I'm going to wax up because this is not a chalk couture board. It is wood and I'm using a brand new transfer. So I want to make sure that I don't have anything stick. Oh, if I can remember where I put my wax, I bet it's in the car. Well, then we are just going to deal Look and just make sure I, ha I don't have it. I swear that this was the wax. I'm like, oh, I have it. There it is. So no waxing, no waxing. Um, we are just gonna, we're gonna fuzz really, really good. And we'll go from there. So how is everybody doing? What is new and exciting? When you guys come on, please make sure you share this to your pages and show all your friends all this amazingness that we make here. I would love that. Sprinkle it, I guess I'm supposed to say. And again, um, the other thing that's on here that's really cute that you can kind of do um, on something as well, it says, first I drink the coffee, and then I do the things. And I'm yawning and could use a cup of coffee. Oh, right now. Excuse me. This would be a cute little housewarming gift to put in a basket with um, like a pound of coffee beans and a, a couple of mugs and maybe a little grinder. But this would be a cute sign to put like in a little gift basket for someone who just bought a home. Um, but just like a little housewarming gift or... Um, if you've got a young person that's going to college um, for the first time and they're out on their own, maybe some instant coffee packs or the pods, uh, if they've got like a Keurig in their um, dorm, I think that would be super cute. And let's make sure I'm doing this the right way. Okay. And then I'm going to write on the back before Sandy pops on and gets mad at me. So, um... But yeah, if you guys will share this out to your pages, that would be great. And if someone here can share it to um, my boutique, that would be even better. And I keep saying the word sprinkle, not share. Boo, and then I'm going to bed early. So here's been my thing. Um, let me label this. Okay, day without coffee. Mug with heart. Mug. And just kidding. Okay, so those are set. Um, let's see. I'm going to do a day without coffee first. So for those of you that haven't seen this before, this is Chalk Couture. Chalk Couture is a screen print transfer DIY, make your own signs and home decor. Um, you can also make t-shirts. Um, you can design on mugs. So how cute would that be? The sign and then also Chalk Couture and ink with some of the mugs. That would be awesome. Um, so what I'm doing right now is they come very sticky and sticky is good. We want them to be sticky. 
Um, over time, they will lose some of their stick, but what I am doing um, is fuzzing to make it a little less sticky to use it right now. Um, you get to six to eight uses out of each transfer, which is amazing. Um, and so a day without coffee. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick my mug on here first because I think they're going to overlap a little bit. So I'm going to put my mug on here first. Um, but yeah, you get 60 uses. I'm fuzzing because I don't want it to stick to the surface and I did not wax it. And um, this is like a natural wood and I if it sticks and you've got to like yank really hard to pull it off, you can stretch the transfer. And so you want to make sure if you're going to use these on things like glass, um, hi Sharon, if you're going to use these on things like glass or on, um, oh, glass, wood like this, anything like plastic, um, <laughs> Sharon says, hi Layton. Miss Sharon says hi. Not answering. Hey, Miss Sharon says hi. Ashley's mommy. He says, Tell Miss Sharon I say hi. Okay, so I'm fuzzing these really good because when I pull them off, I don't want them to stretch. And the nice thing is when you wash them off, you're gonna put them in water and you're gonna rub the front and the back and get all of the paste out of the screen print transfer. When you rub the back, you'll feel the lint that's gotten picked up. And once it gets wet, you can just rub that off. It's the cool, I don't know, I'm big on feels and it's one of the coolest feelings. You can feel it on there and then when you rub it, it just rubs right off. Okay, so we're gonna do these two first. make sure I'm about centered. Move that one up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm doing one of the mugs, um, one of each of the mugs up top, and then I'm gonna do opposites on the bottom. So I am gonna pull them right off and then put it on the bottom and redo it again, because I'm gonna put um, my first one, which is a day without coffee right here. And then um, a day without coffee is like, and then just kidding. I wouldn't know, I think is what it said. Just kidding, I have no idea. Um, Cause I can't remember the last time I did not have coffee. Okay, so I am going to do, I've already stirred these. So they're already prepped and ready to go. Actually, I didn't stir that one. Let me get a stir stick. This camel is brand new. It is, so this is what, when you look at paste, this is what creamy is supposed to be like. It's dripping off like cake batter, okay? So that is what you want it to look like. And my iced coffee is looking good. Same thing here, nice and creamy dripping off there. So people ask me all the time, they send me pictures and they're like, what did I do wrong? And I will say usually it is because the paste is too thick, okay? So, squeegee in hand. I am going to do the mugs, like the regular mugs in the camel. And then I'm just gonna peel, and then I'm gonna re-stick it right there. And then I'm not gonna press down on it. Um, what I do instead is I start from this side and go all the way over to the other side just in one direction since I replaced it. And that gets all the bubbles out for me as I go. Scrape off any excess and peel. I'm gonna put it in my water bath to keep the paste from drying in there. But those are my little coffee cups.
How cute is that? Okay, and now I'm gonna do the top of the mug with the foam. And I thought foam's usually white, but I thought this would be really cute in what's called, the color's called iced coffee. It's discontinued, but they have a new thing called grege. It's like a grayish beige, which is almost identical to iced coffee. We're gonna peel it and then stick it right back over here on this side. And again, I'm not pressing down. I'm just gonna start from top and go straight to the bottom and push out all those bubbles. And I get a good seal. And that way I can do it super fast so that the um, paste doesn't dry in there. Now, both of these I'm done with. I'll scrape off my excess. I'm just gonna scrape around the edge of my jar so I keep a nice seal and keep it cleaned up. I just got the wrong color on this. Brand new roll of paper towels and it's going crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. This is brand new, so I'm really trying to take care of it. This is my camel, it's brand new. So I just wipe around the edges, scrape some off, get as much off of there. This one reminds me of peanut butter. The color reminds me of peanut butter. Can you tell I'm hungry? How was everybody's Monday? What was the best part about your day? Let me hear it. And I'm looking for my blow dryer. I set it down here so that I wouldn't lose it. And because I think the words are going to layer um, and I'm infamous for sticking my fingers into things, I am drying this up really quick. And I'm drying with um, little to no heat, just with air. It does dry super duper fast. But I've got a transfer sitting right here on my fuzzing cloth and I don't want it to melt the transfer, so I'm not using any heat. And I think we're almost there. Okay. And then we're going to do a day without coffee. I fuzz this really, really good and get it as centered as possible. I am an eyeballer. Let's see. Day without coffee. Or I'm a finger measure. Might do it with my finger. Did everybody sparkle the video out to your pages? Sparkle away. And I got one of my hairs in here. Come on, little hair. Okay. Ooh. Itch nose. And this one we're going to do in our bark, which is our dark brown.
And remember, I stirred these ahead of time, so we're good. Thank you, Sharon. You are the bestest. Scrape off the excess once I get it in. The screen print of the transfer. over it one more time. I feel like there's parts of it that didn't get covered very well so I'm just going to do one more coat and that way when I pull it up I'm confident that I got everything I needed. There we go. Heal and reveal. So there it is. A day without coffee is like. And then now it's time for the just kidding. I have no idea. Well, and I need that to go right where the is like is. So let me dry really quick. I saw you were staining, Sharon. It looked really good. I don't know why I do that. Every single time I turn it up before I turn it off. And it's like, you would think I've been doing this long enough that I would know which direction I should be putting it. Just making sure we're centered. I'm just gonna put down, push down where the transfer, um, where the silk screen is, because I have that stuff underneath there and I don't want it to pull back up. I got it dry, but just in case. I think I probably could have added a little bit more water to the bark. Looks like it's getting a little thick. And there it is. There it is. So a day without coffee is like, and then it says, just kidding. I have no idea. I really think Sharon Ashley needs this might have to set that up and send her a present because that is just adorable and you and i both know that your daughter well and me and you all like our coffee so okay so that is tonight's live i'll show you one more time what we did um the transfer i got at one of the big name stores um it can go on a desk it's got the little thing on the back so that's super cute and then the transfer that I used tonight is um, A Day Without Coffee is the name of the transfer. It's going to be in stock at the end of this week. Um, they've been bringing things back into stock either Thursday or Friday. So be on the lookout for this one. It is a size B transfer. It is $14.99 and it is amazing. 
And you could do this and ink it on a coffee mug. You could um, do this and ink it on a little towel to put by your coffee area. Um, you could do the mugs on the mugs. How cute would that be? Um, or if you have little plates or something that are dishwasher safe that you can put in the oven, you can put it like teacups have the little trays underneath. Um, you can do it on the little tray too. Anything that can go in the oven and can heat up and set, you can use ink on. And so you can make coffee mugs and towels and signs and have a whole little coffee area just ready to go with a cute little design. So this one is coming back this week and it's $14.99. Um, and then the colors I used are bark. I used camel and I used iced coffee, but the color that they have now is called grayish. It's a beige gray, gray beige grayish. Okay. So those are the three colors I used and that's it. Super simple. Can't beat chalk couture. So, well, I am going to head out. I hope you guys have a great night. I'm going to try and get to bed early. That is what I've been scheduling and trying to go to live earlier so I can get cleaned up earlier and go to bed earlier and I'm going to get some rest. Imagine that. So you guys have a great, great, great. Yes, it's all three of us. I should make like a, a, a triplet one, one for each of us, huh? So you guys have a great night. Thanks so much for checking in. Bye.